In this lecture, we're going to understand how to work with action in the Redux and simplify this counter example. I'm going to use my previous example and show you how you can simplify it. And also, we are going to create a simple action and understand how action reducer and store work together. So let's take a look at how to create an action first. So as you can see, I have here counter.js file, which we created in the previous lecture. And here I have a reducer. So just out of that, I'm going to create here an action. So inside this Redux folder, right here, I'm going to create a new file and name this file action.js. Here I'm going to create my action. So I'm going to create here a comment and say Redux action. As I said, action is nothing but a simple JavaScript object. Let me create an object here. I'm going to say here constant increment is equal to and pass an object here. And inside it, I have a type which is increment and a payload. And here I'm going to pass value one. So this is the type of increment action. And I'm going to pass a value one with this increment action. As you know, using payload, we are going to change the state of the store. We can pass value to the store using payload property. And using type, we are going to specify the action. So this is the type of increment action. Now creating action like this will not allow you to pass value to the payload. Because here you can notice, I'm going to just specify hard-coded value here to the payload. What if I want to pass this value from the counter component? I need to call this object and then initialize this payload property. This is not the best way to do it. Let me show you a better way to create an action. Instead of this object, I'm going to create action creator. So I can pass value to this payload. So just on here, I'm going to say constant increment is equal to and pass a function here, an arrow function like this. And I'm going to simply return an object. And inside this object, I'm going to pass both this value. Right now, you can notice I have here hard-coded value. So instead of this hard-coded value, I can just simply pass a value parameter and pass that here. So when I call this increment, I can pass value to this payload. Let me just comment this statement. And just down here, I'm going to copy this function and paste it here. And instead of increment, I'm going to say decrement. And just out of that, here, the type is equal to decrement, like this. This is the increment action, and this is the decrement action. And just down here, because we are using both these functions outside of this file, I'm going to export it. So just down here, I'm going to say export. Instead of default, I'm going to specify here curly braces and say here increment, comma, decrement. So I can access both these functions outside of this file. Let me save this file and back to my reducer. Inside this reducer, as I said, when you click on the button, it will initialize this action property. For now, let me just specify here console.log and let me see what we have inside this action parameter. Save this file. Redux will pass a random value inside this type. But when you click on the button, you can notice this will just initialize your action with the type increment. Let me explain what is going on here. When you click on the increment button, React is going to call this increment handler function. Because as you know, we have this handler function to this button. When React will call this increment function, inside that function, I have a method called dispatch. Dispatch is a Redux method. Using this dispatch method, we are going to dispatch or you can say trigger an action. But you can notice as a parameter, we pass here increment action. So I'm going to just initialize this reducer action parameter using this statement. So I'm going to pass here parameter type increment and initialize this action parameter. So when I click on the increment button inside this type, I have increment and this will just execute this first case. Now just out of that, you can notice here, I just specify here plus one and minus one inside this reducer. This is the hard coded value, right? What if you want to pass these values from the component? Instead of passing these values here, I'm going to pass these values from the component. So what I'm going to do is, inside this counter, I'm going to pass here comma and pass another key, which is payload. And I'm going to pass value to it, one. Save this file for now and back to the reducer. Save this file. When I click on the plus button, you can notice here, I'm going to have type increment and payload one. So now when I click on the plus button, it will initialize this action property with type increment and payload one. So when I have my payload property with this action, I can pass that payload inside this case. So instead of this one, 
I can just simply say here action dot payload like this reload the browser and when I click on this plus button you can see my app is working fine what if I want to increase the value by 5 so here inside my component I'm gonna simply pass here 5 let me save the changes back to the browser and reload it when I click on this plus button it will increase the counter value by 5 that's easy right just after that let me back to the reducer get rid of this console and just copy this action payload to this decrease action like this save this file and back to the counter and inside this counter to this decrement I'm gonna pass here comma and say payload 1 I'm gonna decrease the counter value by 1 let me change this 5 to 1 now let me save the changes I reload the browser and click on these buttons my app oops I think I misspelled here payload save this file and when I click on this button my app will work fine just out of that as you can notice here I'm creating my action inside these parameters instead of using this action file so I'm going to use this function and pass that inside this counter so just down here I'm going to say import inside the curly braces I'm going to say increment and decrement like this I'm going to import these functions from action and just for that inside this increment I'm going to say console.log and I'm going to simply print my increment function I'm going to pass here increment and pass parenthesis to it and as you know to this parenthesis I have a parameter called value so when I call this function I need to pass value to it so inside this counter if I say here 4 let me save this file and when I click on this plus button you can notice the increment function is going to return the type increment and payload 4 so now it's going to return an object with the type of action and a payload value I'm going to just simply use this function and pass that to this parameter like this and I want to increase the counter value by 1 so I'm going to specify here 1 let me get rid of this statement and I'm going to just call this decrement function and pass that here just like this and I'm going to decrease the value of the counter by 1 so I'm going to say here 1 save this file and when I click on this plus and minus you can notice my app will work completely fine so this is how you can create an action in Redux. So I hope you understand how to simplify your example of counter using action.